Some of the most significant application of molecular biology are in medical diagnostic, like confirmatory tests of AIDS and etc. and in forensic sciences like identification of criminal victims and in solving paternity disputes. This all is made possible due to another remarkable technique known as plotting technique. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Deepika Jolanya Tomar. Welcomes you at Zulu 5. In the last lecture, we discussed about nucleic acid hybridization and in situ hybridization. And in this lecture, let's look into blotting technique, which also work on a principle of nucleic acid hybridization, that is, ability of complementary base pairing of nucleic acid. In blotting technique, immobilization. of nucleic acid that is RNA and DNA and proteins is done on a solid support. Blotting techniques generally follows electrophoresis and in electrophoresis samples of nucleic acid that is DNA or RNA and proteins or proteins are fixed or moved to gel membrane which is particularly of a gross gel or polyacryl amide gel which is also known as PAA and this movement of sample on gel membrane is done by electrophoresis. Here these gels, a cross gel and PAA gel provides a complex polymeric network on which our sample migrate under the influence of electric field. In this migration of sample Smaller fragments move faster as compared to larger one. And after this step of electrophoresis, this step of blotting is done. In which this sample which is now on these gels were immobilized on specialized chemically reactive matrix matrix which is called as blotting membrane typically a blotting membrane is either a nitrocellulose membrane nylon membrane. Now let's have a look at blotting apparatus. This is a container on which we first of all put a solid support this container is filled with transfer buffer And above this, we put a wick of filter paper. This wick of filter paper is saturated with the same transfer buffer. Above it, it's a 
ए क्रॉस जेल और पी ए ए जेल हैविंग अ सैंपल एंड नेक्स्ट टू इट हेयर इज द ब्लॉटिंग मैमरेन which is nitrocellulose or a nylon membrane then after that we again put a dry filter paper a bundle of tissues tissue paper a glass plate and a weight this is a blotting apparatus now in this blotting apparatus as a buffer as a buffer from this container moves to a wick moves to a wick of filter paper by capillary action and this is called as capillary blotting then this buffer moves to gel it takes a sample along and moves to our blotting membrane and when the buffer moves to black blotting membrane taking a sample along then these samples are captured by it captured by membrane and the sample become immobilized on this membrane this transfer of sample from a gross gel to blotting membrane take a several hours to complete position of band of sample on blotting membrane is same as that on an a gross gel and there is very less very less or a minimal loss in the resolution of a sample and this is how the process of blotting is done